Well, we are nine weeks through the 2021 NFL season. Nine weeks to go, and so the Birds with Friends crew here is going to look at the second half. I'm Bo Wolf, Zach Berman, and national NFL writer Shilka Padia. And guys, we're going to take a little uh, segment from Birds with Friends. We're going to do a crystal balled eagle prediction draft for things we think are going to happen in the second half of this season. Uh, we'll go two rounds, see if, how bold you want to get, and Shield, because you are Mr. National, we will let you lead things off. I was hoping we could leave that um, crystal bald eagle with the birds with friends community, but that's okay. We, we can bring it on here. We right. will not forget where we came from. I am going first. My first prediction is that the Seattle Seahawks will make the playoffs. You're saying you're not shield the Seattle Seahawks. They're three and five. They're irrelevant. Why? You know, you worked there for a couple of years. Now you think you have some kind of inside information. But I'm looking at this. If you look at the NFC playoff picture, there are only two wild card teams right now that are above 500, and one of them is the New Orleans Saints that is currently starting a man named Trevor Simeon at quarterback. And so, really, the wild card spots are wide open. In the NFC, Russell Wilson, he posted the succession video uh, online. He's ready to go. I don't know what's even going on with his fingers, with his hands. He's fine. He's going to start this weekend, barring a setback. If you look at it, just over the years, I mean, one of the surest bets in football has been that if Russell Wilson's on the field, they're going to have a top 10 offense and they're going to win a lot of games. I mean, they have a 675 winning percentage with Russell Wilson. And I can tell you, I, I joked about it earlier, but I know from my time there in Seattle that like Wilson is viewing this as just an opportunity to like shape his legacy. Like he comes back early, he's injured, everyone's counting him out. He's leading them to the playoffs. Maybe they go on a little run. Like he absolutely thinks about these types of things. And I look at the setup there, DK Metcalf healthy, Tyler Lockett healthy. The offensive line is competent. It's actually a better situation than he's had in a long time. And so uh, I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to go on a run in the second half of the season, steal one of those wild card spots, and be in the postseason. What do you think? I'd like to give you, uh, I'd like to give you crap. I'd like to ask you, you know, what it's like. How rainy is it in Seattle? Uh, you're such a homer. Uh, but I, I agree with you. I think they are going to make the playoffs. So uh, I don't know how bold it is, but I'm I'm with wow. you. Not just do I agree with Shield. To give our audience a little background here, I sent a message to the group this morning saying, "Should we share our predictions ahead of time so there's wow. no overlap?" And then Shield says, "Shield says, no, no, no. Let's just let's just let it let's just let it go. There won't be overlap. Literally, the prediction that I was coming here with that I was all ready." was the Seattle Seahawks are going to make the postseason. So if if oh, you no. cue back the tape and you see my reaction when Shield said it. The Seattle Seahawks will make the playoffs. It wasn't exasperation about him saying it. It was like, oh, now I need to go into my depth chart to yeah. find my next ones here well, because that was what I was going to go you're with. I'm terrified going to take my, one of my predictions. I'm, I'm terrified about it. All right, with the second pick of the Crystal Bald Eagle second half draft, we, we send it over to Zach Berman. The Kansas City no! Chiefs make the Super Bowl. Oh, okay? no! And <laughs> look, I've, I've been reading a lot of takes this week that the Kansas City Chiefs won't make the playoffs. The Kansas City, I'm gonna quote Shil Kapata here, relax, okay? The Kansas City Chiefs are gonna win the AFC West, okay? The Kansas City Chiefs are going to make the Super Bowl. Uh, the Ravens are gonna be a tough team to get by. Other than that, they're they can get by the Bills. They can get by the Titans, okay? And I'm not promising you that they're gonna win when they get to Los Angeles, but they are going to make the Super Bowl. If I have to bet on someone, I'm going to bet, bet on Patrick Mahomes. Bo, I assume that was the one you were afraid of? Yes. Go ahead. It's a tough one. You know, I, I don't think that's crazy. You know, I, I had that kind of on my short list, and I didn't pick it. There are times, I'm sure you know, know as either a reporter or even as a fan, you like stick with the team for a while. You're like, they're going to turn around. They're going to turn around. Sometimes you're right. Other times it's week 16 and you go, all right, I probably should have bailed on them, uh, you know, six, seven weeks ago. I mean, I think what they have going for them is pretty clear. You mentioned it, Zach. You have Patrick Mahomes. You have Tyreek Hill. You have Travis Kelty. Your three best players on offense are healthy. Your offensive line is fine. And you have a head coach. So it's like, you know, sometimes 
you look at these seasons and you say, well, there's a reason for it. All right, their offensive line, they're starting three backups. That's really going to be the reason uh, why they can't get things together. Or you say, all right, Travis Kelsey's injured. They're thin there with their pass catchers. That's the reason why they can't get it together. They've got all the pieces in place. But, man, I have to say, you know, a couple weeks ago, I wrote the column on The Athletic uh, breaking down the Chiefs. And I was kind of with you there, Zach. I said, you know what, they, they just have terrible turnover luck. Just give it time. And the two weeks since I've watched this team and something is wrong. I mean, they don't have it together. They look like a mess. The numbers, however you want to look at it, have not been good. So we will see what happens. I like the pick. I'm glad that you went all the way to Super Bowl. I mean, if you would have said they're going to make the playoffs, I would have ripped you for not making it bold enough. But uh, I think that's a pretty good one. All right. Well, I got to scramble here because I really don't like my third option. So I'm going to I'm going to keep it on the Chiefs here and just sort of back up what what Zach said. So with my third pick or with my first pick, the third overall pick of the Crystal Ball Eagle draft, I'm going to say the Chiefs finish the season six and oh. And, and why I'm doing this, we all know about Andy Reid's post buy bump. And we know about his December record, 66 and 28 in his career um, in December. I did one little bit of research for the uh, for the video, and their their buy is set up in the most perfect spot right before uh, December, the last week in November. So you're gonna get both com the, the combination of the two Andy Reid superpowers. They're gonna figure out what to do with these two high safety looks. Patrick Mahomes is gonna uh, flip the switch. They're gonna finish the season six and zero and win the AFC West. It's not as exciting as Zach's, but but that's what I will go with. Okay, now it snakes back to me, and I was not worried that uh, either of you were going to take this uh, second selection of mine, my bolder pick. And so with my second pick, the fourth overall selection in the Crystal Ball Eagles second half prediction draft, I'm going to predict that the New Orleans Saints will make the playoffs and their starting quarterback is not currently on their roster. Ooh, I like it. Spicy. So I don't know if it's going to be Phillip Rivers or Drew Brees or Cam Newton or, or Nate Sudfeld or Ben DiNucci, but that's what I'm predicting. I think they will, they will run through the quarterbacks on their roster and they will bring in somebody else who starts for them on Wild Card Weekend. It's a good one. It's almost surprising that it hasn't happened already. I mean, they're just throwing Trevor Simeon out there. I was laughing seeing them go with Simeon over Taysom Hill. Remember the broadcast a couple years ago where Sean Payton told the broadcasters Taysom Hill was the next Steve Young, where that's who he compared him to, and now he can't even get on the field over Trevor Simeon. So uh, I like that. I mean, their defense is legit. We know they have a very good coach, and so they could become very interesting. It just feels like, yeah, are you really going to start Trevor Simeon and Taysom Hill the rest of the way when you have this Cush. I think Philip Rivers is probably the guy out of the, the people you mentioned. How fun would that be? That'd be really, yeah. Simeon has one more clunker, and then all of a sudden Peyton's just driving to Alabama or wherever Rivers is, you know, packing up all the kids in some kind of uh, bus and uh, driving them to New Orleans for a little playoff football. I like it. All right, we move over now to Zach for your second selection. My second selection is that Kyle Pitts will have the most receiving yards among tight ends in the NFL this season. Now, those who have not tuned in to Birds with Friends, I recommend you do, but Bo and Shield joke with me that I have an affinity for Philadelphia natives in the NFL. Kyle Pitts fits that category, and on Shield's all-pro team at tight end, he had Mark Andrews. I know Travis Kelsey is leading the league in, re in receiving yards among tight ends. Well, Kyle Pitts is only going to get better. He's right in the mix. He's already had his bye. I expect him to be essentially a number one receiver down the stretch. Go with Kyle Pitts, leading the league in receiving yards among tight ends. The only it's thing that could have been more on brand is if it was Eli Manning related somehow. <laughs> It's, it's a good one. You know, they don't have a lot of options to throw to. It's Kyle Pitts and Cordero Patterson, and the tight end position has been struggling. You know, there's, there hasn't been a juggernaut tight end so far uh, this year. So, yes, that is very on brand Z Berm, Kyle Pitts, but uh, not a bad one. I, I could see it happening. All right, Mr. National Shield, close us out with the final pick of the Crystal Ball Eagle draft. My final pick, and Bo, you're going to love this one. It's your boy. My final prediction is that Tom Brady wins MVP. The Bucks earn the top seed. He breaks the record for passing yards in a season, and he breaks the record for passing touchdowns in a season. I see. I don't see you celebrating. You know, you're usually uh, a big Tom Brady I, guy. I'm I, glad you're putting the Capadia curse on him. I don't think we realize like what he's on pace for right now. I mean, he's on pace for 5,631 yards 
and 53 touchdowns. So he's on, now again, we get the extra game. So that was one of the wrinkles of the extra game, right? Was well, which of these records Do could not potentially bring up wrinkles in front of Tom Brady? Uh, uh, be in jeopardy. Oh, I thought you were going to comment on Zebram shirt or something there. I'm glad it wasn't directed towards anybody. Uh, Am I going to iron this tonight before yeah. the Birds with Friends episode? <laughs> um, but, you know, so he would have to beat 55 touchdowns is the record right now. Again, he's on pace for 53, not that far off. And he would have to beat 5,477 yards. So I just look at the, those teams in the NFC and which team is the most settled. And I do think it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Their line is good. They've got the weapons. They've got the quarterback. They've got content with the coaching staff maybe they get healthy on the defensive side of the ball there's really no clear-cut MVP candidate right now so uh, I think Brady is gonna have a monster second half of the season also they have the second easiest remaining schedule in the entire NFL if you go by football outsiders DVOA metric so huge second half coming up for Tom Brady MBN must be nice all right well that'll do it for the crystal bald eagle prediction draft you can follow uh, birds with friends wherever you listen to your podcast follow shield wherever you Look at Instagram.